Right then, here we are. <coughs> Buenos Aires Solway, it's now half 10 in the a.m. on Monday the 19th. Happy birthday to my wife. We've got Adrian and Dean. If you can see over my mountain of a rucksack. Let's get going. Peaceful though, isn't it? So I just want to move slow. Do you know what I mean? Can you speak Latin? Yeah, so there's Scotland over there. Mac is it? Mac's over there in that direction. Are we going? Right, let's get rocking. 84 miles to Wall's End, and then another 16 after that uh, to Tynemouth, and then on to Whitley Bay. Five miles in now. What was this village? Have you ever seen the name of the village? No. Uh, bear with me. Drumbra. Oh, Drumbra, yeah, of course it is. We're in Drumbra now and um, we've, we've come back onto the road as you can see. We just came out just back there and uh, it, it was it was hotting up, there was no breeze down there, but we're back. We've got Solway Firth on our left there. Um, and there's a nice breeze coming in again. So it got a bit warm there, I don't know about you two. Just thinking about cracking the shorts out. So uh, we stopped back there about half a mile back and we had a snack and just as we were leaving it started to rain you can see the roads all wet here and uh, just as we stopped what we do and put our waterproof jackets on it stopped raining and now it feels quite humid so this next bit's going to be a bit comfortable i'm sure not But we were uh, we were about I think about 12k in, averaging about three miles an hour ish. I think that's about right. This is all right, nice comfortable pace. But we're overcast now. It's high cloud. The cars are uh, cars are not bothered coming along here at all. King Edward the first. Oh, here they come.
Okay, a bit of a detour. When we hit Beaumont back there, I mean, we, we knew a little bit before that, but um, the diversion because the land down by the river, down over there, isn't good enough to walk on. Did you say it was a landslip? Yeah. yeah. So, um, and we've had another sprinkling of rain, as you can probably see, and now it's got a bit humid again. So we've got about a mile and a half down here, I think, something like that, um, before we can go back onto the official national trail. Uh, love a breather there. It's humid. So ordinarily you wouldn't be walking on this road. You'd be uh, down by the river. So after uh, how far? I can quite easily look at the twelve miles. Twelve miles. Huffing and puffing after our first incline, which was a set of steps. I don't think it was that far. 12 meters of ascent, maybe. But back in the breeze again, we're on the top, that's much better. Yeah. Keeps the flies off as well. Yeah. No flies on me, mate. No flies, no worries. No worries. Young Adrian here, look. I'm still here. He's still here. Oh, where are you? Yeah. So we're only a couple of miles off uh, Carlisle now, but uh, <coughs> it's probably just to the limits, the city limits, really. And we were down in the, you know, in the bottom and. We just come through a couple of lovely villages, but you couldn't really see much. But the views kind of start really tomorrow. Um, I, and you know, I always knew, we always knew that the first day today would be um, just gently rolling countryside with no sight of the Roman War whatsoever. I mean, we're following the, the path of the Vallum really but you can see really how the wall would have been here because of this you know where you know the, the the land is raised up where we are if you can see that there so the wall starts about tomorrow afternoonish really another 20 miles tomorrow but I think we're gonna stop for a breather shortly. Oh. Thank you. The kissing gates haven't been a problem, actually. For some reason, kissing gates in North Yorkshire are tiny. Um, there's a couple in front of us. It's the couple that Dean and I were sat adjacent to on the train this morning. They're just up there. Now, when we stopped for our first break, they went past, they had easily 20 minutes on us. So God knows what, maybe they stopped, but uh, we caught them up. But we'll have a little break in a bit. Right now, weather, sun's quite hot, <coughs> quite breezy, which is nice. No real waves of humidity coming through like we had in the bottom down there. Right, it's um, half half three in the afternoon on day one, and we're just approaching Grinsdale here, which is just uh, 100 meters in front of us. We've just stopped at those trees just there for a quick 10 minute break <coughs> because. Um, now we're going to hit the river and follow the river all along um, basically to the other side of Carlisle um, after which we've got about two or three kilometers and uh, that's where our first campsite is at uh, Bleetown 
Bleaton Farm. I'll never get that right. Bleaton Farm. <coughs> so weather is, it's kind of evened itself out now, wasn't it? Yeah. The humidity's gone, or it feels as though it's gone. Nice breeze. Yeah, nice breeze and sunshine, not too hot. Right, Frinsdale. So we've hit the River Eden and we've got uh, the breeze coming up the river and it's most welcoming but the weather as I said just before is really nice now. hit the traffic. We're now coming onto the outskirts of Carlisle. This is the A689 ahead of us here. About what 500 meters in front, 400 meters in front of us. Um, but we just stick to the river basically. So the, uh, we're kind of in the middle of Carlisle as far as the Hadrian's Wall path goes. Um, we're going to be following the river for another three miles-ish. So we've got the sands right behind us there, just on either side of those trees. Uh, we stopped at the Shell petrol station for a break and now we're skirting around the edge of a golf course. Beautiful warm afternoon, time is now uh, 25 past 5. <coughs> so it's just a nice cool cooling breeze. as uh, we trek the last five miles or so up to Bleaton Farm campsite. M6 crossing over now Aha! Uh -huh. As the A69 home You get on the A69 go home Is it Lamborghini? Hayden on the number plate HA Seven things in the way. got about a mile to go ish it's been quite hard going actually tired now well I am but I'll admit that what about them all oh, right I think they're just following suit they're too proud too proud but uh, 
today's been a hard slog uh, but that's all because of the ground you know majority of it's been on um, tarmac and then when we've hit any farmland like we're on now we've had a lot of these like metal roads like this just smashes your feet but uh, Adrian was saying that um, according to view ranger we've done 21 miles um, on oh, 19 sorry 19.7 just uh, stopped not too far back there by 100 meters back but on uh, shareadventure.com we'd already done 22 miles 20.3 miles yeah. okay who to believe anyway we'll be there very shortly who to believe we'll do a bit of a right angle we're going to turn left here go up this lane and then right at the top when we hit uh, wall 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 head i think it's called but the temperature is really good at the minute really nice and warm but uh what time now? 20 quarter to eight. So it's just the just the right temperature. The end is in sight. But uh, just as we came to that gate that you can see there behind me, um being pointed out that you can now see the path of the wall and the vallum, the ditch that runs alongside. So, very end of day one, and we see our first bit of Hadrian's Wall. So we're nearly there. Hello, well, it's about, uh, time is it? About 20 to 10? I think it is. Just checking. Yep, 10 yeah, to 10. 10 to 10 no, now. And this is uh, Bleethorn Farm camping and caravan site here um, and we're uh, we've we've eaten already we've sorted ourselves out a little, little bit of uh, admin there's actually that little uh, cabin over there hopefully you can see it it's got all kinds in shower and toilets and there's a uh, place to wash your dishes and things and so it's awesome but uh, stiff stiff legs been hard going today all on tarmac really but uh, tomorrow tomorrow we're going to be going along the wall um, and it's really quite quite a straight line from now on Dean mm -hmm. uh, it's undulating a lot so um, I think our only problem tomorrow that I'm going to see is going from Lanacost Priory up up the hill to Banks yeah. I think that's going to be our, our only problem well, it's not a problem. That's the only steep bit, yeah. really. So let's just see. Ciao.